Hi, today I'm going to go through how to improve the smaller barn door on your Nissan Patrol GU3. We're going to make two modifications today. The first of our two modifications is going to be making the barn door open a little bit further. Currently it only opens, um, I don't even know how many degrees this is supposed to be, um, but I do know that it affects uh, pull out fridges and things like that, so let's make it open a little bit wider. For this modification you're going to need a drill with a 3mm pilot bit and a 9mm bit, an M6 riv nut and a riv nut tool, an M6 button head screw with a 4mm allen key, a 10mm socket, some masking tape for marking, a hammer and a sacrificial screwdriver because your brother has nicked your centre punch, and some clear lacquer to protect those newly drilled holes. With a 10mm socket, remove the bolt that holds the door stay in place. Mask the area and then make a mark approximately 15 millimeters from the center of the original hole. First drill your pilot hole, then go through that with a 9 millimeter drill. Don't forget to spray some clear lacquer on the hole and leave it to dry. Next, screw the rivnut onto the rivnut tool. Insert it into the hole and press the handles together. You only need to do it once, then you can unscrew the tool from the rivnut. Then it's just a case of screwing the door stay into the new hole with an M6 button headed screw. So there you have it, that's the first step of the modification done and I hope that you can tell on video that it does open much wider. We should have no problem now sliding our fridge in and out or any drawers that we make in the future, just a trick. Okay, so now we've got our barn door opening a little bit wider, it's on to the second part of our modification. Now I don't know if you've ever been out and about in your patrol and uh, you've opened your door there and you might be parked on a little bit of a hill and the door swings back into you, or worse yet, it's breezy and you get a good clunk by it. The next modification is to stop that. Now I have seen some builds where people go ahead and strip down the whole door panel and the, the take this, the part that we did in the first part of the modification and the, and the pack it out to make it a little bit tighter. We could do that, but me, I'm a fan of a gas strut. So what we're going to do is we're going to fit a gas strut to this door. It's going to aid in opening and it's also going to keep it open uh, while we go about our business on hillsides or in the wind. 
and whatever it is that we're doing. So on we go. In addition to the last tool list, you will need another rivnut, two 5mm pop rivets and a rivet gun, a 5mm drill bit, a measuring device, a 10mm open-ended spanner, two 10mm ball fittings and a gas strut. The gas strut that I have opted for has an adjustable pressure system. The first thing we need to do is mask off and mark for the centre of the bracket. It's difficult to see on this video, but you need to mark approximately 65mm from the obvious edge. Next I'm checking for my bracket height. I have mine set approximately 5mm above the bumper, but this will differ depending on what kind of bumper you have. With the holes all marked up, it's ready to drill. I went straight in with a 5mm drill bit. I'm not going to lie, it was a little bit awkward. Finish those holes off with a little bit of clear lagger. Now you can line up the bracket with the rivets in place. Use the rivet gun to secure them. Pop the gas strut onto the bracket and use its extended length to measure the point where it will attach to the barn door. Once marked, I used the pilot drill bit and then the 9mm drill bit. Again, don't forget the clear lagger. In the same way as I did previously, I inserted the rivnut and the tool into the hole. Once it's tight and the rivnut tool is removed, you can screw the other ball joint in and tighten it up with a spanner. Then attach the second side of the gas strut to the ball joint. At first mine was a little stiff to close, so following the manufacturer's instructions, I let some of the gas out. Reattach the strut and test. And that's it, job done. So she opens up there, no problem whatsoever. I think I could take a little bit more gas out of that gas strut to stop it swinging open so fast. I don't want to take too much out because I don't want to go through the process of having to regas it or buy in a new one. I'll kind of live with it for now, see if it softens down a little bit and then in the future maybe take a little bit more gas out of it. But I'm really happy with that, I'm happy with how it's gone. It wasn't too traumatic at all um, and until the next modification. I'll see you next time.
Thanks for watching, and if you've liked what you've seen, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Leave any comments in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe.